goes into Stave Lake area. It starts off in this really nice, uh, easy pavement section, and then almost immediately goes to gravel road with lots of dust, and super potholy, and you see these nice deep guys. They let you pass, which is fantastic. So here we are going up to the Stave Lake, and uh, let's see what we find for camping today. Exploring some new areas up at Stave Lake area. I think I'm gonna hit a dead end here pretty quick In fact, that might be the end of the cut block up here Not a bad little trail Not sure where it goes. I believe it is a dead end. So let's see what happens Dead end Nice little area for camping. Looks like there's a lot of shotgun shells up here, which is pretty normal, and some some wood. But unfortunately, there's no view, so I'm going to keep going up to see if I can find a better view. Option number one. going up here. I'm in first gear and uh, it's a nice road. It's just loose rock. Nothing too, nothing too extreme but the camera does not give the steepness justice. And here we are. This is flat which is not bad and now we go up again. Pay attention to the road. That's got to stop here. Take a look at that. That is uh, Stave Lake way down there. This is a beautiful road going up. Let's keep going. See what we can find. Never been on this road before, so I'm not sure what to expect. I did have to go around a gate, confession, but it didn't really have, you know, one of those gates where a motorcycle could easily ride around. So I feel okay about coming up here. And uh, I'm going to be really careful to leave no trace and all that jazz. But hopefully I'm going to have the place to myself tonight. Of course, if anyone wants to join me, well, you got to find me. We're going to keep going up. Okay, I'm always intrigued to camp at one of these spots where you're up against the wall and it's going to be pretty sheltered. Uh, I'm going to say this is option number two. I'm going to go check out uh, the road up ahead and see if I can find something better. Maybe something with a better view. But uh, yeah, this isn't too bad. So I'm going to keep riding here. Okay, so fork in the road. Taking a look at my map, I'm running Gaia right now, and it's telling me to go up there, and I'm by myself, and that looks pretty gnarly. I'm gonna go check out this way a little bit. It looks like a dead end. I might go back to camping next to the giant rock wall. So let's see what's it, see what's up ahead here a little bit. I've uh, gone up in elevation pretty high here, and uh, so the temperature has gone down about five degrees since I started riding. So I don't want to go too high because I don't want to get too cold tonight. It is still early May and uh, there's a little bit of cloud uh, overhead so I might get a little wet. But uh, if I can find a nice place to hunker down for the night, I'll be happy. So I think this trail is coming to an end up here. 
It's one of the nice things about camping uh, near a cut block where they've done a massive amount of logging is often they'll leave these piles of uh, lumber, wood, scraps to be burned later. But look at this beautiful firewood that they've left for me. Gonna have a great fire tonight. So gonna fill up my bags and got a bungee strap here to be able to tie some some wood down. So let's load up. I mean, look at that. By the way, Turkana bags, 20 liter version can carry a ton of wood. I've got both sides filled up. I'm not going very far, so I feel pretty safe about this load. And uh, man, I'm gonna have hours of, of time around the campfire tonight. Pretty excited. Thanks, logging industry. Wow, that's all the wood I was able to fit in my Turkana bags and then with a, with a bungee over the top. Pretty sweet, pretty excited. Oh, wait a second, there's a giant pile of wood right there. Oh, I guess I could have just used that. Oh well. Oh baby, tonight's dinner is gonna be amazing. Now that's what I'm talking about.